This is my baby tree, Biwi. It was a seed I ate two years ago. Why do I love trees, you ask? Because trees make guitars. Guitars like this one, gorgeous. Her name's Arya, and she's my baby girl. Look at that gorgeous maple top. This morning, I'm on my way to find a tree to make the perfect guitar. Look at this one. She's a street tree, and she's a baby. Yeah, look at that sexy bark. Oh my god. I forgot to mention that I live in Japan, and Japan is a country that full of trees, full of 60 beautiful trees. Those little trees here belong to my neighbor and he owns a ramen restaurant near my house. I asked him politely if I could take pictures for his little trees and he accepted because he's a nice guy. This is a bonsai tree, a little famous Japanese style tree. I guess he forgot to trim it. This is his ramen restaurant. And my neighbor is, here he is, the kindest person in Japan. And this is me, going out to look for trees. The diversity of trees here in Japan, especially in the southern forest, is inspiring. This is due to a variety of reasons. But before I tell you about the reasons, I don't live in the south. I live in Kanagawa, and Kanagawa is in the middle. First of all, rainfall is plentiful and the soils are rich, such that moist areas have been historically forested. The varying elevations as well add to the diversity, particularly in the south, where forest type vary from nearly subtropical to cool temperature, since many microclimates exist because of them. Due to Japan's extensive north to south latitudinal reach, the species found here range from truly boreal to truly tropical, and everything in between human influence on forests has been extensive. And here we can see a construction work near the river with the Hello Kitty. Japan never fails to surprise me. Anyway, the lowland forest in particular is nearly gone, like the one near my house. I live in the lowlands, so I don't have to climb mountains because I'm lazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Where were we? Lowland forest in particular is nearly gone. Therefore, virtually all of the forested area is in the mountains. This fact is born out of statics. Approximately 73% of the nation is mountains and about 67% is forested. And these are sakura trees or as we say in English, cherry blossom. They are gorgeous and beautiful in the spring season, but now we are in winter and the trees are naked, like a little strip club for trees. Look at these curves. Ooh. As I was saying, a country that is two thirds forested sounds quite impressive, especially considering that this is a small nation, also has nearly 130 million permanent human residents. And this is a pipe, could be a water pipe or a gas pipe. I don't know why I'm shooting this pipe near this river. The truth of the matter is that much of this forest is not natural, but rather cut over and planted in specific lumber trees. As we see here, this tree has been planted by man, which is not natural. Man tries to control nature in Japan.
and that's awesome. So they plant cherry blossom trees near the river because they look amazing in the spring season. Now I'm shooting in winter, almost winter, in February, the end of the winter. But I'm going back here in spring to show you how beautiful these trees will be. Look at this branch. Have you ever heard about a guitar made of sakura tree branch? Must be beautiful. This tree was unfortunately removed because trees could get sick. And in Japan, they don't even bother to remove the roots. They will wait for it until they rot by themselves. Then they will plant new trees like this one. This one was planted back in March 2016, maybe? I don't know, according to the Japanese dates. I will come back here next month to tell you, happy birthday, you little tree. This little mushroom is poisonous, like the one back in 1989 in Super Mario Bros. 2. If Super Mario ate that mushroom, oh my god, he will lose one life. So if you are playing Super Mario Bros. 2, stay away from that mushroom. Wait for it. Now we will see an interesting animal in his natural habitat. This, what we call a gorilla, cleaning his nose and wiping his filthy finger on the leaves. Dude, you belong to the zoo. Go back to the zoo where you belong. As we all know, gorillas like fruits. And our little gorilla is looking at fruits for some reason. Now I'm thinking about going to the mountain to take pictures for another tree. But before I do that, I have something to do. One of my friends, Japanese friends, gave me this book. He found the title was in English, so he thought that I might be interested to read it. It was an interesting book with cute little pictures, and I have to return this book to his office. Beautiful. Nice Japanese art and culture. Gorillas understand art. And soon I arrived to my friend's office, but unfortunately I forgot that today is Monday and he doesn't work on Monday. Smart choice because nobody wants to walk on Monday. And next to my friend's office, we can see Gomyoji Shrine, where people come here to pray and wish for their stuff. This ramen restaurant is one of my favorite ramen restaurants around this area. It is super delicious. And if you came here one day, it's recommended to eat your ramen here because it's super, super, super delicious. Good luck with reading the shop's name. Oh, there was a house here and the house is removed, obviously. And behind the house, there is a mountain. Look at that tree on the edge. Maybe I will wait for the rainy season until that tree falls down and I will come to pick it up and take it back home to make a beautiful guitar. <laughs> and this piece of wood here must belong to somebody. I think it's an oak tree or something. Uh, what we can do with it? It belongs to somebody, so we can't take it. And it's rotten from the inside, so it's unusable. See, someone is using it as a chair or stool it doesn't matter because we can't use it and this one looks beautiful but it also belongs to somebody you can't just come to japan and pick stuff from the streets because in japan 
is considered as stealing. People leave their stuff on the street. Don't pick stuff from the street or you will be arrested. In Japan, on the right side of the road, we can see the train railroad. Here where accidents happened. But I'm planning to climb this mountain to reach to the highest point and take pictures there. I'm climbing this mountain to clear my head and I want to think about my projects, especially the project I made last year that my buddy Mario is trying to convince me that the project failed and I will show you his message. Read it. Mario, buddy, my project didn't fail. It's designed to make you pull your hair and it's called the escapees. And the amount of evil in that game is uncomprehendable. I only failed to gain exposure for that project and I will. And that's why I'm making YouTube videos. So if you are watching this video, subscribe to my shitty channel and give me the exposure for my project that I need. Thank you. I'm only 20 meters up the mountain and my butt is getting sweaty. We all know that climbing mountain with a sweaty butt is difficult. It's very difficult and annoying. So in a few moments we will see the gorilla the sweaty butt gorilla trying to find a good view to shoot. He's also suffering from a sore muscles from last night exercise. And sore muscles combined with the sweaty butt makes you walk like a stray gorilla straight out of the zoo. Poor gorilla. Come back here, boy. Come back. Your sweaty butt will torture you until the end of your journey. As I was saying, we were talking about trees. Sugi and Hinoki are the main species planted. Their plantation often makes up the bulk of the forest on any given mountain. These plantations are composed of the same age trees that are usually not allowed to grow very large before being harvested. And on the mountain, you will find a path like this. And my advice to you, if you saw a path, don't take it. You will get lost. These roads lead to oblivion. But on the right side of the path, there is a tree. Ooh, it looks nice. I think it's an oak tree. But as I expected, it's rotten from the inside. So it's unusable. We can't take it back home and make a guitar from it. What a shame. It looks interesting, so I decided to take a stick and dig inside of it to see how bad is it. It looks very bad. The core of this tree is rotten and it's unusable. But digging inside the tree with the stick is oddly satisfying and I can't stop doing that. You little gorilla, stop and throw the stick. You have a long way to go. That's exactly why gorillas should not make documentaries about the trees. Because they keep playing around and forget what they were talking about. We were talking about the forests. So such forests lack biological 
diversity, being unstable for most plant species, and therefore are not good habitat for many animals either, such as gorillas like myself and trash pandas. Japanese mountains are full of trash pandas. Trash pandas roam freely and happily in these mountains, and they are sometimes dangerous. This red sign here says, don't look at the trash panda. And here we see a hotel called Nakazato. I can't find that hotel. That sign here leads to nowhere. Maybe this hotel is a ghost hotel. I can't find it anywhere. Even if I looked inside the forest, it looks dark and dangerous. If you are in Japan, don't try to enter these forests because you will find oblivion inside. So don't go and stick to the main roads. Those main roads, they are convenient and safe. The sad truth is that only about 1% of Japan's forest can be considered primeval, all the growth. But Japan is more than Japanese culture. It is also a land of unspeakable natural beauty. A big part of that fact is the marvelous and beautiful trees that grow in the land of the rising sun. So let's go and take a look of these beautiful trees that could make potential beautiful guitars. As we see here, a beautiful thick tree could make a neck through guitar easily. I wish I could take it back home, but as we all know, I can't take it back home because it's heavy and gorillas can't carry trees. And this sign is the Gamyoji Park Guidance. I don't know where to go, but I decided to go to the goal, to the top of the mountain. In Japan, on every mountain, there is a top. And we are going there right now. Before I reach the top, I want to show you my favorite spot in Gamyoji Park. This is my favorite spot. And in the middle of this spot, there is an old oak tree. Looks very beautiful and nice. I could make a nice guitar from it. And I can't make a beautiful guitar from it because it would be a crime to take down a beautiful tree. And also, gorillas don't carry trees. Behind that fence, we can find the dark forest, the home of the trash pandas in Gamyoji Park. Oh, this is a takeable branch, but we also can't take it because it's rotten from the inside. And you would also look weird carrying a branch like this in the street. Many people will stare at you and they would say that gaijin or the weird foreigner thinking that trees are for free in Japan. Now we reached the top of the Gamyoji Park and let's go up to take pictures. Going up is difficult, especially in my sweaty butt condition. But after you go up, you will forget about it. These are the directions, the north, south, east and west. But in Japan, you won't care about them because they look the same to you. You won't care about directions anymore. 
they all lead to the ocean. Obviously, Japan is an island. After I failed finding a tree to make a guitar, I decided to sit down and enjoy the view from the top of the mountain. Now I will leave you to this beautiful scenery, but there is a problem that the dirt on my sensor will be obvious. So if it's bother you, if it's bothering you, subscribe to my channel so I could get my hands on a new camera. And you will fill my pockets and I don't have to clean my sensor because it's tedious and difficult job to do. I did watch some YouTube videos, tutorials, how to clean your camera sensors and they were difficult and I am not planning to clean my sensor anytime soon. So please help yourself and enjoy the scenery with the dirt on my sensor. As we see here, somebody lost his cap while climbing the mountain. Poor guy, he will come back to pick it up later. And now, if you excuse me, I have some gorilla business to do. Only 10 yen was the budget to make this uh, documentary about Japanese trees. Thank you uh, very much for watching. Look at this oak tree, looks beautiful. It could make a beautiful guitar, like Kiso guitars or something super beautiful. I wish I could take you back home with me, but I can't because trees are not takeable and I can't buy a tree with tinian. This tree, this cherry blossom tree looks very beautiful and early. And my loose shoelace is very dangerous. Always remember to put your shoelace inside your shoes because you are too lazy to tie it. Now it's safe. Let's go back home. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my shitty documentary. This is Manu signing out. Peace.